viewers, today I will discuss about different mechanisms of enzyme catalysis. Enzyme catalysis is the increase in the rate of a process by enzymes. Most enzymes are protein in nature and the reactions are biochemical reactions. Enzyme catalysis happens in a very localized state that is called the active site. Factors controlling catalytic efficiency of enzyme. The enzyme binds substrate molecule with the susceptible bonds as well, is in close proximity to the catalytic group of the enzyme and oriented in such a way that the transition state that is enzyme substrate complex can readily forms. Unstable covalent bond may form, proton donor acceptor may also leads to enzyme catalysis that is acid base catalysis. Enzyme may induce strain to substrate. Enzyme catalysis process. It is a process that increases the rate at which reaction approaches to the equilibrium. It provides the alternative reaction route by making intermediates. It reduces the activation energy thus increases the number of reactant molecules with enough energy to reach the activation energy barrier and to cross the barrier. Transition state can be easily formed and ultimately the product can be formed. The mechanism favors induced fit model. Transition state diagram shows that a catalyst functions by lowering the activation energy of a reaction by forming the transition state. Catalytic mechanism. Now these transition state can be formed by either covalent intermediate formation or by non-covalent intermediate formation in between the enzyme as well as substrates. There are several types. Number one, preferential binding to transition state complex or catalysis by bond strain, proximity or orientation effect, electrostatic catalysis, acid base catalysis, metal ion catalysis, covalent catalysis and quantum tunneling. Number one, preferential transition state binding. Enzyme mechanically strained their substrate towards transition state geometry through binding sites into which undistorted substrate not fit properly. So, enzyme twist or distort substrate in such a way so that easily transition state can be formed. This is called rack mechanism. Strain reactants more closely resemble the transition state than unstrained substrate. It lowers the activation energy between substrate and transition state and helps to catalyze the reaction. So an enzyme may bind the transition state with greater affinity than the substrate or products. Okay? This increases the molecules in the transition state, thus proportionally increasing the reaction rate. So transition state analogs are competitive inhibitors. In case of proline racemase, we can find a planar transition state is formed. Now pyrrole 2 carboxylate as well as delta 1 pyrroline 2 carboxylate they resemble with that transition state geometry. So they are acting as the competitive inhibitors both of which bind to the enzyme with 160 fold greater affinity than does proline. So these compounds are therefore thought to be analogs of the transition state in the proline resumes and they are acting as competitive inhibitors. Catalysis by bond strain. So what we are telling here, the substrates are twisted in such a way so that easily they can gain a conformation like transition state. Enzyme prefers to bind with the transition state model, not with the prior substrate. Okay. So we can see principal effect of induced fit binding is that affinity of enzyme more to transition state than substrate. So distortion of sugar to half chair conformation is facilitated in the course of lysozyme reaction. We can find the substrate, bound substrate as well as transition state conformations of lysozyme. So structural rearrangement happens. It was observed that the introduction of two hydrogen bonds in the transition state conformation increases the 10 to the power 6 fold of reaction rate than that of the substrate itself. So enzyme prefers more to bind to the transition state geometry of the distorted substrate than that of the earlier substrate. So easily they can go towards the product formation. Proximity and orientation effect. So 
proper spatial relationship happens in between enzyme as well as substrate molecule. Binding and fixing of the active site, it reduces the entropy and increases the effective concentration of substrate at active site. So, they bring the substrate into contact with catalytic groups and multiple substrate with each other. It increases five-fold reaction rate. They bind their substrate in the proper orientation to promote the reaction which increases hundredfold even. They freeze out relative translational and rotational motion of catalytic groups and substrates. In transition state, little relative motion of the catalytic groups as well. So it gives 10 to the power of 7 increase in the reaction rate, a boost up is there. So actually what is going on, it hold up tightly. So it reduces the flexibility rather. Orbital steering. So proper alignment of reactive orbitals happen here. The substrate and the catalytic group on the enzyme must not only be brought into proximity but also into the proper alignment orientation of the substrate is needed. Relevant orbitals overlapping happen. Transition state attained with high probability. So that is called orbital steering. The next one, the effect of proximity of the catalytic group on reaction rate. It was found experimentally that carboxyl group is acting here as a general base to the ester linkage substrate in case of parabromophenyl group. Now freedom of carboxyl group is restricted in many positions in relation to the ester group. So catalytic rates or activities are getting enhanced sequentially. So importance of the proximity factor brings here in case of synthetic substrates. Proximity and orientation effect with respect to the enchimeric or stereoelectronic assistance. Intramolecular reaction arrests molecular motion. So intramolecular reaction is much more favored than that of the intermolecular reaction that is found here. So K1 is actually 4 into 10 to the power of minus 6 that is the second inverse and molarity inverse in case of intermolecular reaction here but in case of intramolecular reaction the rate becomes 0.8 second inverse. So it actually reduces the entropy of reaction makes ligation favorable as well as rate of reaction increases by aligning the reactive chemical groups and hold them fix them together. Next one electrostatic catalysis. The stabilization of transition state by active site residues forming ionic bonds like lysine, arginine, aspartic acid or zinc cofactor. Electrostatic bonds are stronger in enzyme hydrophobic environment. It excludes out the salt by increasing the dipolar constant or dipole moment. Charge distribution happens. It facilitates the transition state formation and polar substrate can easily approach is over there. Metal ions are particularly effective and can reduce pKa of water enough to make it effective nucleophile. Here in case of carboxypeptidase mechanism, we can find the tetrahedral intermediate is formed and it is stabilized by a partial ionic bond between the zinc ion and the negative charge on the oxygen. So enzyme substrate complex can be easily formed by making tetrahedral intermediate. Acid base catalysis. Actually within electrostatic catalysis metal ion and acid base catalysis belongs. Acid base catalysis is achieved by the catalytic transfer of proton. There are two types of acid base catalysis. One is general acid base catalysis and other one is specific acid base catalysis. The first one, specific acid base catalysis. It uses only the H plus or OH minus ions present in water. No other molecules are involved here. Ions are transferred between water and the intermediate faster way than the intermediate breaks down to the reactants or the products very easily. In case of general acid catalysis, we found it is a process in which partial proton transfer from an acid lowers delta G and accelerates the reaction. General base catalysis, a process in which partial proton extraction by a base lowers the delta G and accelerates the reaction of catalysis. Functional groups of proteins which are capable of acting as general acids and bases. So general acids group in proteins are the proton donors like COOH, NH3+, as well as tyrosine hydroxyl, 
imidazolium positive, etc. General base groups in proteins are proton acceptors like COO minus, NH2 with lone pairs, as well as O minus in the tyrosine residue and lone pair of the imidazolium ring. As it is found that the prototropic group is present in case of histidine which acts as general acid or general base, the imidazole ring of the histidine which can simultaneously function as general acid as well as base. Now it was found that the conformation or orientation is mostly important during the course of enzyme catalysis. It was found the RNAs is treated with subtilicin, E. coli, bacterial subtilicin. Then it was fragmented into S protein as well as S peptide. S protein contains a conserved residue of RNAs that is histidine 119 and S peptide, shorter peptide contains histidine 12, right. Now if we mix them together, RNAs is treated with subtilicin and it is treated with the substrate. It was found that when two portions are coming together, if only they bound via hydrogen bonding or hydrophobic interactions, they are able to show the catalytic activity. If covalent bond formation is not permitted by the intact enzyme, these two portions are able to show the catalytic activity. So that means the requirement of S protein and S peptide for ribonuclease activity in case the fragments need not to be covalently joined for restoration of the activity if they come closure and interact via hydrogen bonding and hydrophobic interaction they can show their activity that is the release of the individual ribonucleobases. So actually it is done by the presence of these two histidine residues which are acting simultaneously as general acid and base by the concerted mechanism. First histidine is acting by donating lone pair as base and by extracting H plus another histidine 119 is acting as acid. So easily it can form 2 prime 3 prime cyclic nucleotide but these intermediate by the help of water hydrolysis easily can release each and individual ribonucleotide portion, each and individual portion by RNA hydrolysis easily. So in the next set just by the reverse mechanism here now histidine 119 will act in the reverse direction it will now not extract proton it will act as the proton donor acting as acid and histidine 12 will now accept H plus so it will act as base. So this is the general acid base mechanism it is performed by RNAs. Some reaction mechanism at enzyme active sites it is found a proposed mechanism for the action of chymotrypsin on dipeptide it is once again the acid base reaction. The enzyme is active in case of the enzyme papain is active only when these ionic groups are present as the thiolate and imidazolium ion pair. So it is happening within 4 to 8 pH. It needs the presence of cysteine 25 and histidine 159. Metal ion catalysis. Metal ion acts as primary catalytic center. Oxidation or reduction reactions actually happening within the enzyme by the help of metal ion through reversible change in the oxidation states of the metals. It acts as the bridging group to bind enzyme and substrate to stabilize ES complex. It acts as an agent to stabilize 3D conformation of proteins. It binds to substrate to orient properly for action and it electrostatically stabilize by shielding negative charges. Metal ion catalysis we can find two types metalloenzymes where the metals are tightly bound in case of iron Fe2 plus Zn2 plus metal activated enzymes where metals are loosely bound like sodium as well as calcium. So in case of carbonic anhydrase the metal ion catalysis is found which participates in catalytic process by binding to substrate to properly orient them for the reactions mediating redox reactions via reversible metal ion oxidation state changes and electrostatic stabilization of negative charge shielding. It is found that in case of carbonic anhydrase, metal ion promotes nucleophilic catalysis via water ionization. So action of zinc ion in carbonic anhydrase, metal promotes the nucleophilic catalysis via water ionization where a metal ion's charge makes it bound water molecules more acidic than that of free water and therefore it serves as a source of hydroxide ion even below the neutral pH. 
So it is found in carbonic anhydrase that a zinc ion is present at the active site cleft. The central metal zinc atom is tetrahedrally coordinated by three imidazole ring of the histidine side chains and an oxygen atom of either HCO3 minus ion or a water molecule. So in this way by making this OH by lone pair it can easily go for the nucleophilic attack. Metal ion catalysis by charge shielding it is found in case of kinase because magnesium it seals the negative charge of phosphate backbone. Covalent catalysis. Covalent catalysis involves the substrate forming a transient covalent bond with residues in the active site or with the cofactor. First one, serine class of enzyme having hydroxyl groups, acyl enzyme found in chymotrypsin, phosphoenzyme that is found in phosphoglucomutase, cysteine class with thiol group that is found in case of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, histidine class by contributing imidazolium ring found in case of succinyl coesynthase, lysine class contributing epsilon and amino group in case of fructose diphosphate aldolase. So in case of covalent catalysis, we have to keep in mind the more stable the covalent bond form in the transition state, the less easily it can degrade. So we have to keep in mind, therefore good candidates for covalent catalysis like imidazoles and thiols, they have high polarizability, that means mobile electrons and have high nucleophilicity and also can form good living group as well. So basically important electrophiles and nucleophiles are given here. So the nucleophilicity of a substance is closely related to its basicity. So nucleophiles are hydroxyl groups, sulfhydryl groups, amino groups, imidazole groups and electrophiles are protons, metal ions, carbonyl carbon atom as well as cationic imine. Covalent catalysis, so in case of covalent catalysis, there is possible to isolate enzyme substrate complex in case of chymotrypsin action. So easily acyl enzyme intermediate can be derivatized and isolated. Quantum tunneling. These traditional over the barrier mechanisms have been challenged in some cases by models and observations of through the barrier mechanisms, not over. Enzyme purification. It is possible to purify enzymes and ultimately obtain them in homogeneous form. So extraction of single enzyme is possible from cells which may contain more than 1000 different proteins and activity can be assessed quantitatively. The significance of the purification. To understand what is going on inside the cell or between the cell, reconstruction of metabolic and regulatory pathways can be done by enzyme purifications. So we need the enzymes to study reactions, kinetics, regulation, etc. To understand the deviation from the normal metabolism and regulation process by the abnormal enzymes to make a rational designs of drug possible based on the three dimensional structure of protein. Many enzymes have themselves added value like biocatalysts like protease, lipase, etc. And they can be used as therapeutics like insulin, interleukins, etc. So degree of purity required depends on the application. We have to purify enzyme to keep structure activity in, of the enzyme intact for the conditions of enzyme in case of purifications. Sources, animal tissues, plants, microorganisms, culture media, subcellular fractions of mitochondria membranes or recombinant DNA technology is very useful that is a tool for the enzyme purification. Now the first step is disruption or homogenization of cell tissues. It can be done by different techniques like shearing, sonication, grinding as well as French pressure. Then isolation of organelles as well as solubilization of the membrane is needed. Then we can find in case of excreted protein in the media as well. We need to clearing of extracts are done by the column steps and clearing by the centrifugation and filtration process. We need to keep in mind the enzyme stability conditions, temperature within 0 to 4 degree centigrade, pH optima, the most stable, salt, we have to maintain for the ionic interaction of the enzyme properly. Oxygen, anaerobic conditions must be maintained for oxygen labile enzyme. Proteolytic enzyme like PMSF as well as EDTA must be given, which are the inhibitors for the proteases. We have to store them in the frozen or suspension in glycerol as well as the mechanical forces must be avoided like frothing and foaming. The stability of the enzyme is 
inversely related with the time of storage, not high as well as not low temperature. The medium temperature, if you find in case of the quantity of the product as well as time curve, it is the best suitable. Choice of extraction buffer, trees buffer, trees HCl, PK8, acetate buffer, sodium acetate as well as acetic acid, PK5, phosphate buffer, KH2PO4 as well as K2HPO4, pH, PKA is 7. So we have to keep in mind which particular buffer is to be set during the extraction process to maintain the proper pH. Methods of purification, precipitation can be done by the ammonium sulphate, separation can be done based on molecular size like gel filtration, separation based on the ionic charge by ion exchange chromatography, separation based on the specific interaction with other biomolecules by bioaffinity chromatography as well as the hydrophobic interaction chromatography like hydroxy appetite chromatography. So last of all we have to make a table during the course of enzyme purification from different sources. So purification table after each and every steps, it will measure after every time. Number one, the volume of enzyme solution in ML, the protein content for protein quantification Mg per ML, the activity of enzyme solution unit per ML, specific activity that is unit per ml per protein content that is in mg per ml. Yield in the percentage total amount of enzyme after purification step divided by total amount of enzyme into 100 that will give yield percentage. Purification factor specific activity of enzyme after a purification step divided by total amount of enzyme before that step. So we have to keep in mind specific activity is the unit u divided by mg of total protein and the specific activity is getting increased during the course of the enzyme purification and becomes highest and maximum and constant at the most pure state. So viewers, I have discussed about the different types of the enzyme catalysis, their mechanisms as well as enzyme purification after extraction, clearing of and the purification process including the significance of the enzyme purification. Thank you.